Hello, this is Seamus and 7 myww A couple of uh, couple of ham radios have come my way this last few weeks, and um, thought I would do a video on a couple of them. Uh, this is the Woshan series of uh, of ham handhelds that I think we all know which which ones they are. We've seen them advertised, and while this brand by Woshan uh, from China has a quite a few different models that are very, very popular with hams. Uh, I found that these particular models uh, suit me well and, and do real well. Uh, the models that I happen to, to have are the KG-UV-3D, which is 2 meter, 220, and the KG-UV-6X. Uh, this particular model here is a commercial, it's a ham and commercial combined. It covers 2 meter and 70 centimeter, but will also work uh, commercially rated on GMRS and if you wanted to, I suppose you could probably use it on the on the marine band frequencies as well, but I don't use it for that. But I do use it for GMRS and for ham frequencies, and it is uh, it is accept type accepted for that. So it's a good little radio. Um, something about these radios that I wanted to to say, and that's one of the purposes for this video, some um, the quality. Now I haven't seen very many reviews on YouTube for these radios, which is more the pity because. They're really quite amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them on right now. Um, come with a, uh, a nice bright screen. And I'll see if I can... If it'll focus a little bit better. But <clears throat> the, uh, the KG UV3D. I came across this radio about six, eight months ago. I did not realize that Woshan made a radio that is a 2 meter 220. And they also do one that's a 2 meter... 70 centimeter and you can even order one of these that is a two meter six meter if I remember correctly um, Normally retail I've seen them run anywhere from hundred and twenty dollars to hundred and forty dollars depending on where you get them um, It's it's not a high super high quality or excuse me. It's not a super high uh, Intensity screen. It's primarily just your two lines uh, It might it might remind you of a Bofang or something like that, but really these are much better, in my opinion. I have used a Bofang before, and uh, I didn't use it for very long, and I gave it right on back, and haven't used one since, and don't have uh, any intentions on it. That's not a slam on them, but the, the spurious emissions and the spectral purity of the, the really super cheap radios doesn't ins uh, install a lot of confidence in me. So, uh, the Woshans are different. These both uh, have been tested, and they're... they're um, quality is amazing for such an inexpensive radio and while they don't provide you with a lot of the bells and whistles and you don't have a waterfall or a color screen they still do an admirable job of what we want our handhelds to do and that's to communicate with but i am one of those tech guys that really does like <laughs> to have bells and whistles on mine as well uh, this particular model over here this one is the um, the 6x i have this set up to where i have Let's see if I can focus in on that a little bit closer. This particular one I have, um, the top line has just the frequency itself, and then the bottom line I have set up to where it has just what the uh, the name is or the or the, the tags that I've put on there. Uh, this is one of our local repeaters here. Just turning it up volume-wise. Get ready. So the So the audio is great. These speakers here on the top are amazingly loud. I don't know what the specs are. If they're 750 milliwatt, which is what I expect, very, very, very loud radios. They do a great job. As you can see, it has a green light. has double lights for both bands. Same with this model over here, 2 meter and 220. Um, they do give you an antenna that is a dual bander, which is nice. Some of the companies might have dual or tri-band antennas. Um, in their assortment, but normally you have to change out the antennas. This one came with a, with a dual band antenna for that. I didn't have to do an aftermarket one, and it and it performs admirably. It does a good job. Um, 220 being my favorite band, I have numerous handhelds and mobiles with 220 on them, and I just couldn't pass this up. Um, I did get this one at a ham fest for a very very good price, but I still think they're worth the 120 dollars they are retail. Now, the uh, the 6X will also work on the GMRS bands. And so what I've done is I've set this all up to work on that as well. And I 
use my license occasionally for GMRS, but it's uh, it's not very common. I don't use it super often. It's pretty rare. I have it just in case. It's more of a more of a thing. But I do have the the repeater set up, and it, it's not as easy for me to hit them as it could be. Uh, let's see if I can key up one of the repeaters on GMRS. They're they're a little farther away from me. So it's not as easy for me to key them up. Yeah, I'm not able to key them up from down here, but you get the picture. Uh, another thing about the menu system, I'll turn on the menu system here. It's very simple to operate. Uh, let's see if I can get this closer. Primarily, all you do is just turn on menu, go to where it is that you want to change it, hit it again and change what you need to, and then hit it again and you're out. It's super simple. Uh, we come with everything from Roger Beeps to Vox and... No, there's no Bluetooth. There are no uh, high bells and whistles like you would get with a lot of the other models. But that's not what you're paying for. You're also paying a, a price for these radios. It's considerably lower price than, than the big threes. Uh, something that you do get with every model that you buy. This wonderful desktop charger, which will usually charge them in about 10 hours. Uh, comes with, uh, let's see, I can't remember what size battery these come with. Let me take this off. They come with these little side clips here that you just pull this off, off of here. Um, these are 1700 milliamp ba batteries. So you have a 1700 milliamp battery that they give you. And then, of course, you can get other ones as well as uh, AA adapters and, and so forth. But that's what you get in the box. You get everything that you need, including the base charger and the adapter for the wall wart. And, of course, they can also be operated off of... Um, off of uh, I believe these these might not have the nope these do not have the option for running DC. I, I couldn't remember if these did or not, and they do not. Not that I can see. Now they do make a battery eliminator for these, which you can get on uh, on um, Amazon and other places that allows you to just slide it into the back. And uh, actually, I think I might even have one to show you what they look like. But uh, primarily like a lot of the other ones and I have these for some of my Yesu as well but they uh, this just clips onto the back and then of course that just goes right on into your into your cigarette lighter or your accessory jack is what they call them now because there aren't too many people smoking anymore which is a good thing <laughs> I'm glad to see smoking's going away honestly uh, no offense to smokers just just not my thing so um the Woshans um have a pretty good track record. I don't hear too many people saying negative or bad things about them. Uh, now, I have heard some people uh, stress on some of the the radios that have very wide receives, uh, and I, I don't remember the model names. The KG UV60, or excuse me, 90, I believe is one. And the drawback about these radios is that you can't keep the lights on at all time. They won't stay on permanently. You can only go by a certain amount of time. They have a timer. Um... But that the 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 range of the wide range frequency range that some of them have on receivers can get a little dicey sometimes, and that they're very very ultra sensitive to overloads on the front end. So uh, these aren't SDR based or anything like that. So uh, you're not going to have some of those issues. But I got to say, I'm pretty impressed with them. Um, a lot of people have a hard time saying the name. Why is that difficult? Woshan. It's real easy. Woshan. Um, Anyway, it, it, I suppose uh, because I enjoy languages and in linguistics, that doesn't seem a challenge. But they're good made. They're good radios. They're well made, and there are a couple of companies putting out some that are just as good. I know that Yesu and Icon both put out some uh, some lower priced radios that are very very good, uh, but they're still considerably more expensive than these. Now Yesus might be the exception. So the FT60 is really a great radio and would compete easily with either one of these. So. Anyway, um, I digress. Highly recommended. Woshan's uh, KGUV series. Um, you can go through PowerWorks, I believe, and you can also go through, I believe, Ham Radio Outlet has a few accessories. I don't think they actually have the radios, um, but you can go through Buy Two Way Radios and a couple other companies to get these. Um, There's a lot of them out there. That is just a, a brief synopsis, a brief review of these. Um, it, it's it's really small. I didn't go into how many memories they have. I just wanted to kind of give an over, overview of what they look like and 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 what they what they're like in the hand. And you can see by the size of my hand that they're not a super large radio. That's another thing. These are built solid, really really solid. This um, the the speaker and mic jack, as you can see, that just came off of there. 
uh, it takes your standard Kenwood jack. So there's plenty of those out there. Uh, and I know that that's kind of a, almost an industry standard anymore. So that's how you program it as well. Uh, when it comes to programming, you can program from the face panel, but it is easier to use their software. And their software is, yes, it's basic, but it's free and it works. Usually the cable they give you will work with it, but I have to admit that I had to get an RT Systems cable to work with this one. Or not an RT Systems, uh, it was uh, a PowerWorks cable, excuse me, PowerWorks cable to work on this because the old one no longer worked through my USB port on my laptop. So depending on your computer, you might have to get a new cable, and I think it cost me twelve dollars. So these are these are good these are good radios. Um, the antenna on this one, of course, is a Yesu, by the way. So that's not the antenna that comes with it. They usually give you something similar to this. Go check it out. I think that you would enjoy both of these radios. So that's it for my small brief summary of what these radios do and what they look like. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video and my videos on my YouTube channel. Um, Please subscribe if you've enjoyed these. There's no cost. I don't, I don't do any of this for pay. I just enjoy making radio videos and astronomy videos and just things that I enjoy. But ham radio seems to be the one that I enjoy the most. I have been a ham since 1985, and it just gets more and more fun as I get older. So thank you so much for watching my video. Let me know in the comments below what you think or if you have one of these and what your, uh, what your thoughts are on it. Uh, please subscribe. Please hit the uh, bell icon for notifications and give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you like the video. So on that note, I will uh, end the video and say thank you so much. This is Seamus and 7MYW saying 73.